Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Virgo for the month of November 2023. So as we begin, I'd like to thank everyone who is returning to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who is new to our Angelic Wisdom community. Just a few reminders. First, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. Select the all notification bell, like, dislike, and leave your comments. If you feel called to have an angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com slash services. That link and all the other ones I'm going to mention are in the description area below the video. If you'd like to support and donate to my um, channel, you can select my PayPal me angelic wisdom link. Also, if you have not seen the monthly general reading for November, you can stop now. Check. That'll be the first link in the description area and go watch it or you can do that afterwards and finally the format the card in the center will represent the archangel that you're working with for this month and the cards on either side will represent the messages from your guardian angel so the left card will be from the major arcana which is what is unconscious um, to you and the big themes or lessons and energies that are unfolding and the one on the right will be uh, represent the minor arcana and this is what shows up in your day-to-day -day awareness this is what you're aware of and that will also hopefully offer some guidance about how to work with it those bigger energies that are influencing your life so let's go ahead and take a deep breath together Breathe out through the mouth. And I'm seeing, I saw it like sort of a, 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 a pit bull standing next to a tree. And then I saw a soul. And so the, with, I kind of got a sense of, of um, loyalty to your soul. Okay, and there might be a pet or someone or people in your life, um, but the, get a sense of this about being sort of loyal to your soul purpose and um, in a way that helps you to really feel more supported and guide it by your higher self. And also for the focus and the purpose of peace, to bring more peace and alignment and harmony into your life. And to also, they write the word supplied, to help you to um, really be in the receptive mode of the things that you need for yourself. But everything that you're bringing into your life and everything that you're asking for should be to help you to find more peace in yourself with your soul or your higher self. So I'm seeing a sword sort of um, pointing down or standing up in the, in the earth and this gives me a sense of, of, of focusing on your truth, right? And, and really um, sort of almost amplifying a prayer of clarity that is a, sort of an intention of, of you want to achieve clarity, more clarity in any facet of your life. And that comes from being, as they write the word confess, being totally honest. The more honest you are with yourself, the greater respect you offer to yourself. And then the universe will give back to you 
clarity in a variety of ways. Clarity in everything that you do and clarity about in, in the people that you're dealing with or the situations or the goals that you have. Finding more clarity. Dealing with less sort of... Um, Gosh, why can't I find words today? But, you know, you find yourself dealing less with people who, or situations that are, goodness gracious, what is this word I can't find? Um, it's like this, I'm thinking of the Seven of Swords, you know, but it, it, it's, that is one word. What is this word? People who are are not. Um, this is a very simple word. I'm, I'm sure a third grader could think of it, but I can't. Um, you know, people you just can't trust, right? You 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 would deal less with this kind of thing, or you deal less. You would have less distrust, or you would have less doubt in yourself. Or, all right. So let's take a look at the. Archangel that we're working with for this month. Hmm. Archangel Hope. And the message on the card says, look for a cosmic gift. Remember, you deserve it. Okay? And we're talking about you know, <laughs> understanding how much, how worthy you are, so, and how valued you are. This, this clarity with yourself, this truth, being truthful and honest with yourself will help you to really start to have more value or have a greater sense of worth because you don't, because you value yourself so much that you refuse to lie to yourself. You try to be as open and clear as possible with yourself and with others. And this ups your, the ante of the, the kind of integrity you exude, the trustworthiness that, uh, and your own sense of worth and how others see you, this is where that kind of respect comes from. They're saying that this is going to open a whole new door of opportunities for you. Perhaps in that it'll be, you'll feel less stressed about most things that you have more of a sense of calm or confidence and faith in walking through these doors that lead to new opportunities. The, the rainbow energy here gives us a sense of not just a reward, at the, but of a promise, a promise you keep to yourself. Maybe that's a loyalty piece, keeping promises to yourself but making sure that those promises have so much clarity that they're not difficult for you to keep that promise. Maybe that's what makes it difficult for us to sort of succeed or, or finish the things we start because we're not being honest at all times when it's necessary to kind of keep things in perspective, in the right perspective, and it's balanced in such a way for us that we can continue to be as transparent and handle these things with more effectively. Okay, so we have the, the emperor energy here. And there's a sense here of, you know, taking charge, being at the helm of something in your life. Now, you, you the sense I get here is in order to be, we all want to be in control. But what we first need to really be focused on is, or maybe think of a control as alignment. 
because control means I'm doing this all by myself and I'm trying to manage it. And, I, and when, I, when we get into that, we start manipulating because we, if everything is alone, then that automatically puts too much responsibility on the self. And so when you think of alignment, we think of cooperation with the universe and, and with other souls on our journey. And so we, from that alignment, we can always be aware of what's appropriate and the best ways to focus, what are the priorities, and we can have enough clarity to kind of have a clear outline or map of what we want to, of what our plans will be or the strategy to get there. And it's about being able to stay clear in order to steer clear or to steer in the right direction always. All right, let's take a look at the minor arcana. So we have a lot of, um, I've been pulling a lot of um, court cards for the readings I've done so far. And this is a night of earth. And so this brings us really you know, doubles down on this grounding energy of the of the emperor, and it really focuses on um, clarity, clarification um, in terms of implementation and approach, being aware of what needs to happen naturally in order for certain things to evolve or grow not pushing, um, not going against the grain, right? Not going against the, the sort of natural um, events for something to unfold. Being mindful of this, really sort of truly um, respecting this, respecting a process, giving a process the time it needs to work for you. They write, yes. I see the word conversion, and I don't know if um, you're involved in something that is unfamiliar or this needs takes. It, it, there's a. It hasn't shifted over as and converted into what you want it, but it's in that process. They're saying it's in that, it's happening, but you got to give it a little bit more time for that to unfold. So I feel like don't whatever it is, don't give up. Just get clearer, get more clarity, simplify, make sure that you're being, um, that you can be responsible for whatever you're taking on and what you can't, you need to pass or delegate as a smart emperor would, would do. All right, so Virgos, I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful, Beautiful month. God bless.